estimation of mean pulmonary artery pressure by Doppler echocardiography. The early diastolic pulmonary regurgitation gradient will give an estimate of mean pulmonary artery pressure. Masuyama and associates evaluated pulmonary regurgitation flow in 21 patients with pulmonary hypertension and 24 patients without pulmonary hypertension by continuous wave Doppler echocardiography and compared with catheter measurements. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. The gradient from pulmonary artery to right ventricle in diastole was calculated using the simplified Bernoulli equation P equal to 4V squared. Peak PR gradient determined by Doppler echocardiography correlated well with mean pulmonary artery pressure. End diastolic gradient correlated with pulmonary artery and diastolic pressure measured invasively. Abbas and colleagues also used simultaneous Doppler and invasive study to validate the role of Doppler derived peak pulmonary regurgitation gradient as a reliable non invasive measure of mean pulmonary artery pressure. End diastolic gradient of PR will give an estimate of pulmonary artery and diastolic pressure as mentioned above. Ideally, the right ventricular end diastolic pressure has to be added to the end diastolic PR gradient to get the pulmonary artery diastolic pressure. Tricuspid regurgitation jet gradient gives an estimate of right ventricular systolic pressure. Calculation is using simplified Bernoulli equation from the measured tricuspid regurgitation jet velocity. The right atrial pressure added to the peak TR gradient gives the right ventricular systolic pressure. This will be equal to the pulmonary artery systolic pressure in the absence of right ventricular outlaw tract obstruction. Mean pulmonary artery pressure can be calculated from end diastolic pressure and systolic pressure as follows. Mean pulmonary artery pressure equal to two third of pulmonary artery diastolic pressure plus one third of pulmonary artery systolic pressure. Intravenous agitated saline contrast can improve the signals of pulmonary regurgitation and tricuspid regurgitation. The gold standard for assessment of pulmonary hypertension is still right heart catheterization, but the invasive nature makes repetitive measurement difficult. Here are the first set of journal references. Second set of journal references are here. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.